Hello friends, myself Uday Kumar. Now I am going to present my topic Polyhydroxy Alkalonates. The history of Polyhydroxy Alkalonates. The first example of Polyhydroxy Alkalonates to be discovered was Polyhydroxy Butyrate in the year 1926 by Maurice Lamorghini. Definition of Polyhydroxy Alkalonates have recently been the focus of attention as biodegradable and biocompatible substitute for conventional non-biodegradable plastic. PHA or a family of biopolyesters. The hydroxy alkonic acid synthesized as intracellular products by prokaryotic genera encompassing. Most gram positive and gram negative bacteria are also synthesis hydroxy alkonic acids. The PHA production is reported in many plants and yeast. Then structure of alkonates. Any salt or ester formed from the reaction of alkonic acid and alkanol. Alkonic acid or aliphatic carboxylic acid in the alkanol or simple aliphatic alcohol. This is the structure of alkanoids. Next classification of PHA. There are classified two way short chain length polymer and medium chain length polymer. The short chain length polymers consisting of 3 to 5 carbon atoms and medium chain length polymers consisting of 6 to 14 carbon atoms. Picture shows poly 3 hydroxy alkanoids. The, the R group first to 3 to 5 R groups are short line length. The R group R varies. It forms short line length polymer and medium chain length polymer. The 6 to 14 carbon atoms in the R groups are medium chain length polymers. The medium chain length polyhydroxy alkanates have a much lower level of crystallinity and short chain length polyhydroxy alkanate and are more elastic due to the stereospecificity of the biosynthetic enzyme that is PHA synthesis they are deconfigured reports of any L configured PHA do not exist most polyhydroxy alkanate are optically active these monomers can display saturated unsaturated straight cyclic or branched side chains. In general, these straight chains are aliphatic, but when cultivated and unusual substrates, certain microbes mainly found among the bacterial group of fluorescent pseudomonides can synthesize PHA with pendant functionalities like aromatic, allogenic or al alkoxy group. Next, biosynthesis of polyhydroxy alkanates. PHA biosynthesis short from renewable feedstock like exos, pentoses, starch, sucrose, lactose, maltose, lipids, alcohols, organic acids or gases like methane or CO2. Classically under unfavorable growth conditions due to imbalanced nutrient supply. The biosynthesis of PHA is usually caused by certain deficiency or conditions. Example, lack of macro elements such as phosphorus, nitrogen, trace elements or lack of oxygen and the excess supply of carbon sources also. Accumulating PHA is a natural way for bacteria to store carbon and energy when nutrient supplies are imbalanced. Biosynthesis of PHA. First substrate is sugar. The comes acetyl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA comes from Krebs cycle. Then the three ketothylase involved the acetyl CoA convert into acetoacetyl CoA. Then the acetoacetyl CoA is converted to three hydroxy butyl butyl CoA with the help of acetoacetyl CoA reductase that is PHB. Then three hydroxy butyl butyl CoA is converted into PHB, PHC synthesis is involved in the properties of PHA. PHB is a homopolyester consisting merely of 3 HB building blocks. This material future rather high crystallinity 60 to 70% and restricted possibility. PHB is also type of PHA. Then PHB has had only limited use mainly because of its intrinsic brittleness presenting low strain at break. Reason for the brittleness The secondary crystallization recrystallization of the amorphous space takes place during the storage at room temperature. The glass transition temperature of PHB is close to room temperature. Thermal degradation 
the PHB thermally decomposes at 270 degree Celsius just above its melting point 180 degree Celsius. A short exposure of PHB to temperature near 180 degree Celsius could induce a severe degradation accompanied by production of the degraded products of olefinic and carboxylic acid compounds, example crotonic acid and various oligomers through the random chain session reaction. The very low resistance to thermal degradation seems to be the most serious problem related to the processing of PHB. The main reaction involves chain session, which results in a rapid decrease in molecular weight. Biodegradation of PHA Microorganisms in nature are able to degrade PHAs using PHA depolymerase However, the additives of these enzymes vary depending on the composition, crystallinity, additives and the surface area of the polymers. The extracellular PHA depolymerase hydrolyzes the PHA into water soluble oligomers and monomers and subsequently utilize the resulting products as nutrients for biomass accumulation. The end product of PHA degradation in an aerobic environment is carbon dioxide and water while in anaerobic condition it is methane. In the context of medical application, PHA are established as biocompatible and biodegradable polymers. The polymers are degraded by enzymatic hydrolysis and poly-3-hydroxybutyrate on degradation forms the 3-hydroxybutyric acid, a known constituent of blood plasma. In mammals, the hydrolysis of the polymer happens gradually 6 months or more. Next, application of PHA. First, medical applications. For use in medical application, materials must be biocompatible, which means they cannot cause severe immune reaction when introduced to soft tissues or blood of a host organism. PHA material must also not elicit immune responses during degradation in the body to be considered biocompatible. Furthermore, sterilization of PHA based material does not appear to affect the average molecular weight, tensile strength or other properties. The application of PHA Food packaging, the higher barrier of PHA towards oxygen permeation is of enormous interest for producing packaging material which prevent the oxidative spoilage of products. It also involves in the production of diapers. Potential agriculture applications include encapsulation of seeds, encapsulation of fertilizer for slow release, biodegradable plastic films for trap protection. Thank you, thank you all.